Welcome to Chapter 3 of our story. As the storm began to relent, the once howling winds softened to a whisper, allowing the friends to gather in the main room of the lodge. The flickering flames of the fireplace cast a warm glow, illuminating their faces. The air was thick with anticipation, a palpable tension that seemed to vibrate with the energy of the spirits that lingered in the shadows. Join us as we delve into this chapter filled with mystery and emotion. Inside the lodge, Maya stood near the window, her warm brown eyes scanning the snow-covered landscape outside. Her voice, barely above a whisper, broke the silence as she spoke of confronting the spirits. The others nodded, their expressions a mixture of fear and determination. Ben, tall and lean with tousled dark hair, shifted uncomfortably. His usual humor was absent, replaced by a vulnerability that seeped through his facade. The friends were united in their resolve, ready to face the unknown together. Lila, with her vibrant red curls and bright blue eyes, spoke up, suggesting that the spirits might just want to be heard. Her words sparked a flicker of hope among the group. As they formed a circle, Clara took a deep breath, her heart racing. She could feel the presence of the spirits, their energy swirling around them like a gentle breeze. With trembling voice, Clara began to apologize, her words raw and unfiltered, facing the specter of her past. The atmosphere was charged with emotion, a moment of vulnerability and connection. Inspired by Clara's courage, Ben stepped forward, admitting his own mistakes and the laughter he used to hide behind. His truth resonated with the others, and Maya reached out, grounding him in the moment. As they spoke, the oppressive darkness of the lodge began to lighten, the shadows retreating in response to their sincerity. Clara felt a warmth envelop her, a sense of release as the spirits responded to their vulnerability. The whispers that had haunted them transformed into soft murmurs of understanding, bridging the gap between the living and the departed.